El Corazon Compost Facility. Have a heart. Get out of our way. Because El Corazon means the heart, right? Whoa. Is that our steamy pile of mulch? <laughs> Cool thing that we have access to. A big old truck coming in, dropping. This window, watching it. Whoa. Oh, steamy the window is. Oh, what are you, what are you gonna do with all this manure, honey? <laughs> I mean, it is cool that we have access to this human manure facility. Look at all our mulch. It was thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, baby. This is so steamy and warm. Feels like a like a bath. It smell does it smell minty to you? Yes. It's eucalyptus. like eucalyptus. It's eucalyptus mold? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It's weird. It does it smells like aromatherapy. I feel like I'm digging in dirt, but it smells all minty. It is fresh. better quality than it was before. Remember it had like pieces of paper in it or something before? Well, we got a tarp full of crap back there. Minty flavored dirt. So strangely, Evan does not like cheese a lot, but he likes a lot of things that have cheese as an ingredient, but he loves these cheese crisps. They're just plain cheese that got microwaved. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this. It is a wonderful snack that tastes like cheese. It mm. it's low carb, better than cheese. It's cheese crisps. So in the past, I had seen fancy recipes that required oven baking and all this stuff. Really, all you need is parchment paper and cheap shredded cheese and a microwave. This is the parchment paper that we just used on Evans. I kind of wiped it down to get some of the grease off of it. I'm just gonna scatter some cheese around. And so for this much cheese, I'm probably gonna stick that in for about two minutes. And we'll be back in a minute. Well, two minutes. You can really cook it to preference, but what you wanna do is stop it before it gets too burned. It's basically gonna get orange and darker and darker the longer you cook it. I try to cook it until you see that most of the cheese looks like it's not moving. You can't really see it, but you'll see it kind of bubbling and boiling. I'm just looking for a certain kind of consistency in the cheese. So it's been going for like a minute and 15. I'm gonna open it and show you what it looks like right now. Technically, I could stop it right here if I wanted, but I'm gonna go for a little longer. Okay, it's getting really dark now. So you can see it isn't quite burned, but it's definitely getting to be this like dark orange and the cheese had stopped bubbling and moving. So this one's gonna be real crispy. I'm gonna let it sit here for like 30 to 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna drop it onto this paper towel. And look, Evan is still working on his. I'm almost done. You kind of know it's ready if you like lower the paper and the cheese crisp is straight. So yeah, it's, it's gonna come right off. So let's just bring it out. That one's kind of destroyed. It's not destroyed. Well, I'm, hey, since I'm holding this camera, will you hold that paper down for me? Thanks. There. All right, this thing has been cooling for maybe less than a minute. Now it's one big crispy thing. It's like a big cheese it but better. Delicious. Like a cheese it but better. rant today I was uploading my video and it immediately told me that there had been a copyright strike a copyright claim because of a piece of music that was playing in the house in the background for part of it so then I went through and I made the decision to try to pull the video and re-edit it but then my apps crashed my computer crashed I had to reboot it multiple times it crashed again I went in I tried to edit things something else went wrong I accidentally overwrote a big chunk of the video panicked for a second everything was going wrong finally got it sorted out posted hours late super stressful day I am not handling the stress well today it is a cursed day following my cursed vlog so here Here's what's gonna happen. Evan and I are gonna play backgammon today because it's super fun. We just taught him how to play yesterday and the game is over 5,000 years old. Look, Dad, I know how to set it up. Yep, all right, I can't wait to play this with you. Right, I had to change the angle because the camera was in the sun and that was too hot. Let's get a little time lapse of our game. Wait a minute, you set these up wrong. Take two. <laughs> I've gotten 
so many doubles. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Another double six. Unbelievable. How many, how many double sixes is, is, can one kid roll? <laughs> how many doubles have I rolled myself? <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Holy! What the heck? I'm gonna win next turn. Yeah, you are. Oh my God! Pick up your dice, <laughs> butt face. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wow! Let's see what I get. Doesn't matter. And I win. <laughs> Good job. Just a little follow up on Suki. She seems fine. You okay, honey? She's back to her normal self. She survived the bee sting. And we think she's gonna live at least a couple more days. Hey Siri, Google, how can I get crows to be mean to my cat? Okay, I found this on the web for how can I get crochet mean to my cat. Check it out. You're not crow shaming, idiot. Evan has that homework going. Great. You're on lunch break right now, right? Yep. All right, well, you enjoy that because I'm going to start cracking the whip and it's going to be back to work. Back into the yard. With this. I don't think we need to do that yet. Woo. I've got the easy job recording you guys doing work. Uh -huh. Can you sleep out of we can trade if you want, Jonah. Oh, no, thank Here, you. You know what? Go ahead and take this. No, no, no. That's okay, uh -huh. really. Gross. Don't on my foot. She is cute. Oh, Got pretty dark. How much have you guys done now? Oh, that looks pretty good. We need more succulents in here, though. Oh, you also did it over here, too. I didn't realize. Guys, Josh, starting to hear look what I did all by myself. No help from th th those illusions. It's all Tony Stark tech. Ignore that. Ready for this cake flip? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I gotta bleep that. Tony Cock. <laughs> okay, they say you learn something new every day. I did not know these existed. I bought these at Costco thinking they were just green olives, but they're green olives that taste like black olives. So I'm gonna take a couple of these out. If I can. I'm just gonna put them right here. So I also didn't realize it's hard to describe what an olive is supposed to taste like. Because when I eat this, my brain tells me this is gonna taste like an olive. But it doesn't have any of that like vinegary, what, whatever an olive has, it does not have it. If my eyes were closed, I would think I just ate a black olive. It's really weird. Can someone please explain this to me? It's funny how that technical setback yesterday really threw off my whole thing and I'm still hours behind schedule for today's video. So we'll see what happens. One last check to see if FedEx came. Nope. If I'm gonna post this today, then that's the vlog. Peace out the internet. So you say